We've heard a lot about COVID-19 symptoms over the last two years. The headache, nausea, and fatigue. But did you know some of these symptoms also apply to carbon monoxide poisoning? WBKB's Jatine Tinsley has more. Oxide is a deadly gas that displaces oxygen in the blood and suffocates organs. Symptoms from carbon monoxide are similar to coronavirus. Former president of the Michigan State Firemen's Association warns of the dangers. Because it's odorless, we don't know that we're getting the flu-like symptoms, and it's been more problematic during COVID because people are experiencing the same symptoms with flu, with carbon monoxide poisoning, and very similar symptoms with COVID-19. And I had someone last year that had all three. They had carbon monoxide poisoning, the flu, and tested positive for COVID. Mick Lear says if you feel sick at home, then step out of the house for a period of time and feel better, only to return home and feel sick again, it may be an indication of carbon monoxide poisoning. That's why working carbon monoxide alarms are essential to have in every dwelling so that we can make sure if carbon monoxide builds up, we are easily and quickly alerted to be able to get out and stay out. A few tips to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning include not putting backup generators inside garages and warming up all vehicles outside of the garage. Carbon monoxide can even seep through drywall. So when we have these newer vehicles that have remote engine start, very important we still pull that vehicle outside of our garage before we let it warm up in the morning because if we let it warm up inside even with the garage door open it can cause carbon monoxide to leach into the home. McLear says to make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector in the home and to check it regularly. Jatine Tinsley, WBKB News.